down to Strawn over there somewhere. There's, um, just had to change batteries. There's the Cape Sorrel Lighthouse. Somewhere there, I think. And it's surrounded by rugged grandeur behind us. All the button grass grows up the slopes and stops at the, the forest edges. The battle between the, the forest and the button grass clearings. It's a bit bumpy. Yeah. Mm. Up the German tourists camping out here. Lovely spot. Lovely view out to the ocean. They're looking out out through here down the the coast down the beach. And there's a bit of civilization around here. And uh, this is Tasmania and all the cray fishermen live out here and they can't take their rubbish back with them just nearly got wiped out on the corner up there with a mad four wheel drive flying up on the blind corner got little dune buggy tracks up and down the escarpment there's their water supply and down here we have the trial harbour community and the cray fishing season is cray just fishing for amateurs started yesterday. just started yesterday so it's probably full up with cray fishermen and the car a ute just went past us flying down this track with a load of firewood and it's a vertical drop down the, the edge there Go down and have a look at the town. Just found our way along the edge of town to the camping ground. It's crayfish season, the boats are coming and going. There are crays. And lots of kelp in the bay. Full of kelp down there. Wow, you can make your gelatin here. All, all along here, people camping. Being a holiday weekend, Monday bank holiday, most of the camp spots are just about occupied. I don't know whether that's a big chunk of kelp or not. That's where they do their hill climbing. All little local hills are driven up and down. Look like a few permanent, permanent settlers here, like loads of firewood. Here's your button grass. Lots of it around all through here.
better than Horrocks Beach. Double tyres on the back, and you just got stuck. I think the boat's a bit heavy. Here comes the snatch step. Meanwhile, at the water's edge, launching another boat. Snatch strap operation. Another one down here, snatching him out of the surf. Snatch him out. Came undone. people I was told that don't know how to do it here and the sand can be a bit soft. And I made some nice video. This is this is the sort of tow bar you need so you can poke the boat right back in the water without getting your car and the soft stuff. Now the Range Rover's going to pull out. He's got, he's got two. 